a restaurant with a menu that features foods from three different parts of the world is right here in El Segundo. This is Nomad Eatery and this is Business Matters. Scott, the owner and chef of Nomad Eatery here in El Segundo. Scott, thanks for having us. Oh, thanks for being here. You got a beautiful restaurant here in El Segundo. Tell us a little bit about it and the whole concept here at Nomad Eatery. Well, the, the concept began um, a couple years ago when uh, I'd gotten back from Europe and um, it had been my second trip. I hadn't been there a long, long time. And when I originally went as a backpacker, in my 20s, um, I fell in love with uh, Middle Eastern food, Mediterranean food, the whole idea of uh, eating well and eating uh, naturally good food, uh, feta, olive oil. So the concept came out of that, really. Why El Segundo? Why did you guys choose here to open mm -hmm. this place up? First of all, I think that El Segundo itself is um, it's a pretty diverse mix of things. It has residences, it has businesses wrapped into one. I think that when you open up concepts, you try to open up concepts that can be flexible for lunch, dinner, uh, takeout, delivery, that's it. Happy hour. Concepts work because it works for many different things. El Segundo has, those, has that diversity, really. Well, we're glad you guys are here. The food looks delicious. Uh, let's get into it and try it out. What do we got here first? Well, the first, this is probably the signature dish uh, of the restaurant. It's um, hummus is uh, a daily uh, staple for myself and has been for 30 years. When we were doing the Nomad concept, um, because it was Mediterranean forward and hummus is such a special dish for myself, I really wanted to sort of take a deep dive into hummus, the roots of hummus, and why is it so good? What, what makes it great? And, um, you know, you learn some things along the way that way. And uh, so I, I found out that I was doing it wrong the whole time. <laughs> a key part of real hummus is um, taking dried chickpeas or garbanzos okay. and soaking them overnight in baking soda. Wow. Okay. That's the secret <laughs> of the beginning of it. You've got to soak it in baking soda and cool water overnight to allow the baking soda to do its magic on the skins of the garbanzos. And then when you actually make it, it makes this light, fluffy, creamy, silky texture um, that I don't think you need anything else on the thing and, and, and you have great hummus, but uh, I do have crispy garbanzos on there as well. Uh, well I also have this um, green, almost pesto-like um, topping called zug, which is a, a kind of a Middle Eastern um, cumin, cilantro flavored sort of thing. And people go wild for that too, because it's got a little kick to it. Yeah. And, there's, and, the, and the garbanzos are sort of cumin spice too. So you got this crispy stuff against a silky texture. And then the game changer. <laughs> this right here. The flatbread. <laughs> uh, the flatbread, it's so good. <laughs> it's just really, really yeah. good. And um, you can see the softness, yeah. the, the, the texture, how it pulls apart yeah. and holds its, its own there. It's just a, a beautiful um, dipping bread, uh, which is what hummus is in essence, it's a dip, yeah. um, it really is. Well, let's so, try it, it looks great, it looks very yeah. fresh. So, so take, it, take, it, yeah. take, a, take a whirl at it. Let's actually grab some of this with the green stuff. Mm. Wow, definitely very fresh. Very and fresh. You're right, the green sauce uh, has a kick to it, but it tastes amazing. Super smooth, super silky. It's really good hummus. <laughs> 
we tried a few more tasty dishes prepared by the chefs just for us. I tried the crispy chili relleno, a Vietnamese inspired salmon salad, and a delicious chimichurri steak with homemade fries. And my favorite, the Mediterranean lamb shish kebabs. With such a tasty menu, the customers are leaving full and with a smile on their face. I heard about it when it first opened and I read about it in the Daily Breeze. So I thought I'd like to try it, something different. Um, I ordered grilled shrimp with their jasmine rice and I loved it. And I'm back today and I'm ordering the same thing. <laughs> After all the food I ate, I was thirsty for a drink. Thankfully, the menu features many specialty cocktails prepared at the bar. The chief pouring a little bit of fresh lime juice. Uh, some simple syrup and um, tequila blanco. And where did this originate from or how did this, how did you guys come up with this? Well, we had a, a one of our, one of our, our, our main bar consultants um, really uh, embraced the, the Nomad concept. Uh -huh and came up with a lot of cocktails that I felt truly um, spoke to me about how, how, how the concept should be, where it's an elevated concept, but at a price that is affordable. Yeah. And so you notice the beautiful crushed ice, for example, and uh, just the, the, the care that goes into each cocktail. This one is a really delicious, um, a balanced version of a of a, uh, of a margarita that uh, notice the just the the mint leaf there. It's not just a leaf. Yeah. It's it's a forest <laughs> it's a that goes there, in yeah. there, <laughs> and um, and it's just a, a, a beautiful thing. And the, and and we don't I honestly go light mm -hmm. on our cocktails. We yeah. don't have like. When you taste it, you go, oh, there's definitely tequila in this. There's no question about it. But it's balanced. Yeah. It's not, it, but we're not, we're not trying to just sell a, 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 uh, a cocktail that is just okay. Now let's take a sip. Definitely hits you, but it's good. No question it's about it. <laughs> Tried some delicious foods today here at Nomad's Eatery. It was made fresh right in front of us. It was a cool experience to get in the kitchen, check it out. Now I'm gonna enjoy this great cocktail in a beautiful setting, but don't take my word for it. Come try it out for yourself. Nomad's Eatery, we're right here in El Segundo. I'm a good to you, and I'll see you next time.